Flave City family, happy Monday. A live stream on a Monday in the grocery store with art. Is, is this right? Is my phone actually correct? Yes, it is correct. We popped on live. We're having a great time, Art and I, here at Whole Foods on the north side of Chicago. We've been filming videos all day. I'll tell you about those videos pretty soon. But then we're like, we're here. We have permission to film. Let's do a live stream because nothing is more fun than doing a live and doing a live shop long. You don't get to do these very often. So I'm gonna pull up the live stream right here on Art's phone. It says Flav City's live. There I am. Oh my gosh, how crazy is this, right? We're gonna have a great time. It's a live shop along. So we've done a few of these, right? They're a blast and they're all for you, right? We're gonna go around talking about really fun stuff, but you guys tell me where to go, right? It's gonna, can you hear this music? The music here today has been so crazy. Art's been jamming out. What is this song now, Art? Huh? Who is it sings this song? Dad, I couldn't tell you. It was from Flashdance. Flashdance, right? classic 80s song. Music has been all over the place today, but Art is loving it. Um, so in a second, I'll ask for the first request. I think I'll start here in the breakfast aisle. That has a serious lack of stuff because of coronavirus. Art and I have been up and down every shelf today, every aisle. There's a lot of items like water, canned food, pickles, cereal, and oats that are low because of coronavirus. It's totally crazy. I hope you found our uh, pandemic prep video on Sunday very helpful, but here's the deal. Leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. We wanna know from all corners of the world where you're watching from. Can you hear me? Can you hear? This guy. This guy. Let's just say hi to him, by the way. This is Mr. Flashdance himself. Oh, don't ever say that again. <laughs> Arthur D. Almacy in the flesh. Hi, We're hanging out at the big Whole Foods over on Belmont and Ashland. If the you're watching home. and you're here, they should say hi, right? Yeah, I yeah. think you should. Don't be afraid. Some don't. people are like, oh, I didn't want to interrupt. Yeah. Interrupt us. We beg you. Please, we, we, <laughs> interrupt us. Please interrupt us. It's so funny because the second we got here today, we were about to start filming and this older gentleman was like, can you show me where the raw chocolate is? And I'm like, well, I don't work here, but yeah, I'd be more than happy to. Are you talking about cacao nibs? He's like, yeah. I'm like, come right over here, sir. He's like, aren't they good for you? I'm like, yes, they are good for you. It's raw. It's a FaceTime. I'm going live. Um, so we got people all over Colorado, Dallas. We yeah, got not, Houston. Do you have to disturb mode on, honestly? Uh, I thought so. And then we got Vegas in the house, San Francisco. So guys, we're gonna hang out. We're having a great time. We're in the breakfast aisle right now. So we might as well start here. Was it on or no? It was. Oh, interesting. So look at the shelves. This is coronavirus live in effect. Look. Oh, she's in her favorites, that's why. Cereals, granolas, empty. Look at this, heart. Nut milks and non-dairy milks sold out. Breakfast bars sold out. Oatmeal. The, the shelf stable milk. Shelf stable, which is much better than the uh, refrigerated ones because uh, they'll last longer in a zombie apocalypse slash coronavirus scenario. Oatmeal is sold out. Let's start here because oatmeal, as you'll learn in a video we have coming out this week, I believe, scores very high in glyphosate. What is glyphosate? It is the active ingredient in Roundup. From who? Let's say it together on three. One, two, three, Monsanto, a high five for Monsanto. Not, they, they ruin everything, right? So why do they spray oats? Well, Roundup is sprayed on oats, not as an herbicide, but as a desiccant. A desiccant is something that dries out plants. And when the oats are pretty much ready to harvest, they spray glyphosate and Roundup on there two weeks before harvest to dry it out. So when they come by with the combine, it's much easier to extract the oats from the plant. And that's bad. Why? Because organic, I mean, it's a conventional oats score very high in glyphosate. So if you're eating oats like this, right? Quick cooking, steel cut oats. Steel cut's actually great because it has higher nutrition than a rolled oats, but you don't see organic anywhere. This, my friends, is very high in glyphosate. There's been a lot of studies done and you don't want that, especially for kids. So check it out, Art. If you're gonna get oatmeal, it's gotta be this. You gotta see USDA organic. A lot of people tell me, Bobby, how can we trust in that? How do we know they're not cheating? You guys, to earn the USDA organic symbol is a big deal with very high standards. If you break the USDA organic standards, they break you, we come, we break you, we penalize you, we kick you in the butt, right? Bad news, you can't do that. Organic is very, very important and organic grains cannot, by law, be sprayed with Roundup and glyphosate. So they score very low in glyphosate. So when you're giving this stuff to kids, our beloved little cherubs who are gonna grow up and be the next important people of the world, 
please give them clean grains and preferably whole grains. If you're gonna give them grains at all, you gotta get organic. Now, there is a new player on the street and it's from these guys. Farmers We Know makes not only organic, but sprouted rolled oats. And to me, this is crazy because I've never seen sprouted oats before. Sprouted means just like our sprouted bread that we like. They soak the grains, in this case the oats, in water and it tail forms and it sprouts. Why that's important is because sprouted grains are easier on your tum-tum to digest and your body gets more nutrition from sprouted grains. So hip hip hooray for sprouted grains. I've seen some Costco's around the country are carrying this in a big bag, scoop it all day every day, boil it with almond milk, coconut milk, uh, full fat, organic, grass fed milk, delicious stuff, make overnight oats. Now, if you're a keto paleo household like us, raise your hand if you're a, a paleo household. In the meantime, Art has breaking news. Now, Bill just gave you 20 Canadian dollars. Oh, wow. Hi, Bobby. God bless you, Rose, Rose and your lovely wife. And Art, keep doing what you're doing. One, Chinusa protein powder, your thoughts on it. Two, hazelnuts, how good are they for keto? Great. So hazelnuts are good. I don't know Chinusa protein powder. I'll have to check that one out. If it has um, low carb, no natural flavors, and organic ingredients like organic plant-based that's very important uh thank you for the super chat thank by the so way much. and so uh, sarah oh sorry oh sarah 99 found organic Ooh. pasture raised egg for 5.99 a dozen good you. deal is that on sale right now i'd love to hear that rose uh, and desi are watching at home by the way are they yeah uh, so everyone say hi to rose and desi they're watching at home right now leave a hey, comment on an escapade shout out to jenna jackson <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny you can art has been dancing, shouting all day, and I have to do the video. So we filmed the video about uh, inflammatory foods and low salt foods, and I'm talking to the camera like this, and Art's behind going this. And how am I supposed to do a straight face when Art's jamming out to all these songs? It's crazy. So I was saying, we're a keto paleo household. We don't eat grains, right? Once in a while, we'll have like a bean-based uh, pasta, but look at this. If you want a oatmeal-type cereal, I would get something like this. This is an amazing brand, and it's cauliflower hot cereal and there's no grains. Instead, it's coconut flakes, almond protein powder, which is lovely, and then cauliflower that's freeze-dried, real strawberries, not strawberry natural flair, ch 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 chia and flax seeds. <laughs> Look at that. Good amount of protein. Net carbs are not terrible. This is paleo. This is fantastic. I would scoop this all day, and it looks like people are scooping. Look at this, Art. It's but almost sold out here. So is their uh, granola, I'll show you in a minute. So I would recommend, here's the deal, even if you're not paleo, try eliminating oats from your diet for 30 days, see what happens. I believe, it's my opinion, that oats are very bloating. And a lot of people get this bloated feeling from oats without knowing it. So I would eliminate it from your diet, see what happens, and then if you have no problem, introduce them back again, but see how you feel after eliminating them from your diet. We should show Art's favorite, uh, oats right here. Art, it's going to be the quick cooking. This one, right? Yeah. But not the golden spurtle. Art gets the quick cooking steel cut oats. Golden spurtle, I think, is a prize for like, <laughs> what? They won some oatmeal contest. <laughs> I get the organic one. They have it at Costco. Yeah, get the but organic yeah, one. The same thing. Yeah, Art gets this, although he says it does not cook in seven minutes. It cooks in how long? Uh, I add more water and I cook it for like 17 to 18 minutes. There you go. Get the organic one. Costco has a huge, huge bag that is the best deal ever. Now, there is a run also on cereal. Now, cereal's tough because you have to get organic cereal. Why? What did I say about oats being sprayed with Roundup to make it as a desiccant to dry it? The same thing is true with wheat. You'll learn all about this this week when the glyphosate video comes out. They spray wheat a week before they harvest so the wheat dries and it's easier to harvest the wheat with the combine. The problem is that spikes the glyphosate level, right? So when you have cereal like this, you really want to get organic cereal. So look around, number oh, one, make sure it's paleo. organic. And then number two, make sure it's low to no sugar. I think it's really, really important. So I'll go straight to the best one. Don't mind us, go ahead. Right? One of the best ones is right here. We've talked about this before. The same guys who make um, Ezekiel bread make Ezekiel 100% certified organic sprouted cereal. So look at those ingredients. Everything sprouted, so more nutrition, easier to digest. How much added sugar, Art? I can't see. Should be zero, I'm guessing. Yeah, a lot of comments on the screen, zero. Zero, amazing, right? So this is fantastic. Now, I see a new player here. 
I'm gonna talk about the keto cereal. But before we start, if you're just joining us, we have a thousand people already for an unannounced live stream. High five to everyone. Please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Uh, let us know your favorite grocery store and share. Take the link, share it over to Instagram, Facebook, tell everyone to hang out with Bobby and Art. Share it over to Farmers Only, Tinder, Grinder, Bumble, Luxie, wherever you want, you do Hinge. it. Art's Hinge, Art's got breaking news, no? Tom Silvero just gave you a $4.99 super chat. We <laughs> members need you back ASAP, thank you. Here's the funny thing, thank the you, Costco honestly. video from Saturday is our most popular ever Costco video in the first 48 hours, and we did it from home, and the outpouring of support from y'all has been amazing. People are tweeting, emailing, saying, let Bobby in. I'm the reason why I got a Costco member. I'm the reason why I got a Costco membership. He's the reason. Amazing stuff. Art's got more breaking news. Sonia Blade 07 Blade 499. Shout out to Christian, my son, a Chicago police officer in the seventh district. I now live in San Diego. Nice. Years, but I'm from Logan Square area. Rock on. Love it, Logan okay, Square. Thank you. Thanks for your son. Big uh, gentrification happening over there. Christian, thank you for protecting us. Thank you for keeping these city streets safe. High five to you. Um, check this out. So we got a keto cereal here now. I want to show y'all. So this is cool. This is kind of one of the nice things about shopping at a Whole Foods is they start to get stuff like this. This is usually an online only product. So keto meaning that it's going to be low carb and this is Catalina Crunch. But first of all, look at the price. That's expensive, you guys. It's $9 for a nine ounce package. So basically a dollar an ounce. Let's look at the ingredients together right here. So it's the Catalina flour. Wow, they're calling everything their own blend here. Catalina flour, pea protein, potato fiber, corn fiber. I'm okay with that. Chicory fiber, I'm okay with that. Akasha, guar gum. Okay, can anyone point out two problems that I'm seeing here? But leave a comment on the screen. Monk fruit's pretty cool, but I see two issues here. I want you guys to tell me. Net carbs are five, added sugar is zero. And I do love the fact that there's no uh, gluten or grains in here because sometimes put, people put gluten or wheat and then back it out. So Kesha says sunflower, Sue says sunflower, Shauna says natural flavors, group hug. You all got it, that's right. Yeah, Art's like, don't hug me, <laughs> group hug, right? If it's gonna be sunflower oil, it has to say expeller pressed. High oleic refers to the fatty acid profile. That's better, but you wanna see expeller pressed. Even better, you guys would be avocado oil or coconut oil but it's too expensive for them, even though they're charging $10, it's ridiculous, right? Then natural flavors, which is another word for artificial flavors. So I tend to find that in a lot of keto cereals, they all have natural flavors, all the ones, cereal school, all that, it's kind of a bummer, but here's my beef. When you're charging us, consumers, a premium price for a keto, paleo, gluten-free product, and you're using a cheap agricultural oil, like sunflower oil, canola oil, peanut oil, corn oil, safflower oil, instead of using avocado oil, coconut oil, or olive oil. It pisses me off, you guys, because I'm already paying $9, the most expensive cereal in the world, and you're trying to save a little shekels, right, by using a cheaper oil. Homie, don't play that game. I'm paying a premium price. Give me a premium oil. That's all I got to say. Mic drop, out. I'm back, right? That's my rant, okay? And I would never drop Art's phone. He would probably punch me in the face. Let's keep going down the breakfast aisle here. So do you guys know the difference between this non-dairy milk on the shelf and the non-dairy milk over there in the refrigerator case? It's all about pasteurization, right? This is what's called UHT, ultra high temperature pasteurized. The one over in the fridge case, which is more perishable, is HTST, high temperature, short time. It's not quite as perishable. Uh, it's more perishable, right? But in a scenario where you have a coronavirus pandemic or a walker, walking dead situation, you wanna have a few of these on hand, but you have to know what to buy. And I'm gonna show you as soon as Art gives us breaking news and I wet my whistle. Lisa Fink, $10 from Anchorage, Alaska. Whoa, no, nice. No Thrive oh, Market, man. no Whole Foods, no oh, Trader Joe's, oh, struggle with real oh. here. Costco is our best option, love watching all you guys. Wow, well, at least you, you have Lisa. Costco. So Lisa, is your Costco, does it have the same stuff we have or does it have more like Alaska-based stuff? I just wonder if you have the same healthy stuff as we do. Thank you for the super chat, by the way. That's very sweet of you. Uh, let's see here. Oh, Deborah emailed Costco and told them they joined because of me. Thank you, that. Lisa says it depends. It depends, yeah. I guess it depends for everywhere, right? Thanks so much. Uh, we got Newport Beach in the house. Philly's here. 
Do you recommend Kind Bars? I don't recommend Kind Bars. Okay, so let's talk about the shelf stable. So if you're gonna get any non-dairy milk, please get unsweetened. And I would actually get plain because all vanilla flavored ones have vanilla natural flavor. So look at this. This is coconut milk beverage. And this is, doesn't say unsweetened. So all right, check it out. You might grab this and say, oh, it's organic, it's coconut. Boom, I'm gonna give it to little Timmy. Well, I don't think little Timmy needs seven grams of added, what kind of sugar here? Guarantee it's cane sugar, boom, cane sugar. I don't care if it's organic, that's cane sugar. That's the devil in one cup. Seven grams of sugar in one cup is almost two teaspoons. I want you to go home, or if you're home now, or if you're at work, leave and go home. You have permission from Bobby, tell your boss. Two teaspoons, pour that into a glass of eight ounces of water. That's an astounding amount of water, of sugar to give anyone, let alone little Timmy, little Joanna, little Erica. We don't do that to them, right? Man, look at this art. How do they get the vanilla in there? Take a look. They're not putting vanilla bean, they're putting vanilla natural flavor. So that's not what I would get. I would actually go for something like this. Look at this art. This is hemp milk, which is so good for you. Original, unsweetened. So you look at the ingredients here. Oh, even that has natural flavors. Ah! Gotta taste more hempy. You gotta taste more hempy. Art's all about that hemp. Let's find a good one here. Come on. I thought somebody wrote hemp yeah. <laughs> How about you this? You sure this is hemp yeah? I should. No, this is vanilla. This is gonna have natural flavors again. Oh, look at these guys. Actually using vanilla extract. Bra to the, oh, so vanilla extract is real vanilla bean extract. Vanilla natural flavors is not the same thing. It's different. So this one's good, you guys. This is hemp. And actually hemp has a good omega-3 to omega-6 ratio. I believe the two best milks to give toddlers that most mimic the nutritional profile of cow's milk is hemp and pea. Just make sure the pea milk doesn't have any natural flavors. And I know what you're saying. Bobby, my kid, little Johnny, loves chocolate milk. Tell me a good chocolate milk, nothing. Make your own chocolate milk with uh, any kind of milk you want, monk fruit sweetener or coconut sugar for a paleo sweetener and raw cacao. Because if I pick up pea, here's pea milk chocolate. We get astounding amounts of sugar, you guys. We get 17 grams of sugar in an eight ounce package. 17 grams of sugar, get this, is over four teaspoons. Four teaspoons is like, Johnny's gonna be bouncing off the wall. Four teaspoons is like pre-diabetic level. Be careful giving anyone that kind of sugar. That's my spiel about nut milk. If you wanna learn more, Google uh, or search on YouTube, Flav City, non-dairy milk. Art has breaking news. Andy is, Andy with an I, is giving you $2. Thank you so much for all you do. Thank you, Andy. Oh, thank you, Andy. It's so nice to you. And then Tommy Boy, Tom Dalton. Hemp milk oh, is oh, easy yeah. to make. Thank you, sir. Every milk, actually hemp and flax are the easiest. I actually have something at home called a almond cow that works great. You can use a blender. Homemade is literally so much better than store-bought. I will say there's a couple of brands of store-bought. One's called New Barn, Mulk, or Three Trees that have less emulsifiers, more almonds, and they're delicious. All right, Desi, are you still watching? If Desi and Rose are watching, please leave a comment. Everyone say hi, they're at home right now. Your light is still blinking, Art. You got news Thank for me? You. No, no, no. Okay, guys, keep leaving comments down below. We wanna see what's going on. Isn't Bobby, oat milk oh. really easy to make too? Yeah, it is, and it's gonna have more oats than this. What's up, Art? Bobby, can you please say happy birthday to my cousin, Juliana? Thank you. Juliana, happy birthday. Feliz cumpleaños. I'm glad you're hoping to have a great day. So delicious, or Califia. Uh, Califia has natural flavors and so delicious. I wouldn't get either of those. I actually get the 365 brand organic unsweetened almond milk. It's delicious. Do we have to buy organic beans and nuts? Organic beans, yes. High in glyphosates. Organic nuts, only peanuts. The other ones you don't have to. Tree uh, nuts, no. I can answer a question. Bobby is sipping on some hydrogen hydroxide right now. I'm just sipping on water, you guys. So we filmed two videos before we started the live stream. Then Art and I had a break. We got a plant-based protein bar. Art had a cup of coffee, I had a cup of black tea, and then we got going. The two videos we filmed earlier were the best low sodium foods at the grocery store and the highest inflammatory foods and how to replace them with low inflammation foods. Man, there's so much stuff in this aisle. Look right here. There's a run, you guys. There's a coronavirus run on granola. Look at this. 
Somebody, somebody said that that's just because the weekend's over. No, it's not. It's totally coronavirus related. I, Tom Dalton, dollar ninety nine. Are most extracts okay? Uh, yes, real extracts are hundred percent fine. And if you're gonna get granola, I love this brand because it's grain free, meaning it's paleo and there's no oats. And I love these ingredients. I mean, look at these ingredients. The sweetener is paleo coconut sugar, which is so good, and a low glycemic sweetener. MCT oil. Woohoo! Chia seeds, coconut flakes. Wow, look at those macros. This is delicious. Frida, go to the YouTube channel and look up HEB. We already have a HEB video we do. from Texas. Combined with Central Market. Guys, any of these ones from Purely Elizabeth are good to go. To be honest, even the grain ones, if you want oats, are good to go. Yes, please. Because they're organic, gluten free oats. So I have a question for you trivia. Why do they have to put gluten-free oats? Because oats are gluten-free. There's no gluten on them. So why would they specify gluten-free oats? But she does it right, you guys. Someone earlier asked me about Kind bars. I don't eat anything from Kind because look what they're using. Cane sugar, AKA the devil, and canola oil. We don't want that, right? Okay, so. Uh, Christian's asking, what's Art's favorite grocery food? Uh, it's a toss up. It's a tie between uh, flat iron steak and uh, original strawberry flavored Twizzlers. Thank you very much. <laughs> Back to you, Bobby. Uh, Cross contamination whoa, says. Uh, $20. Whoa, Terry. Terry Ann, I'd love to see Art do grocery haul. <laughs> we should do that one day. I love that. Terry, <laughs> thank, thank you, you for Terry. that super chat. You're so sweet. Cross contamination is correct. It's an Ava in Germany. Anna, wheat can be flown. Yeah, so if you're celiac, you have to get certified gluten-free oats because they're oftentimes produced in a facility where there's wheat. The wheat is airborne, it can fall on the glutes and cause you issues if you're celiac. If you're just avoiding gluten, you'll be fine. Bear Borg, we just gave you $5. Love your cookbook so much, I bought it in hardcover cover wow. and even sent a hardcover copy to my daughter in the Air Force. Amazing, so first much. of all, thank you to your daughter for serving, that is amazing, and thank you for supporting the book. High five, you guys. In the link down below, in the description box, is the uh, link to my cookbook on Amazon. This weekend, after our live stream on Friday, y'all bought so many books, it skyrocketed to a number one bestseller in three categories now. Now we're a number one bestseller in soul food. Look at me, I'm the definition of soul food, right? Food allergies and allergies, and we were ranked number 330 on Amazon. You guys, get this. There's eight million books on Amazon. We're ranked 330, high five, group hug, thank you. That's insane. This is insane. Thank you for the support. If you haven't bought the book yet, just search Flav City on Amazon. Wherever you live, check out our cookbook, check out our ebook shopping guide. You're gonna love the recipes and thank you for the support. And please, if you haven't done so yet, leave a review of the cookbook. Those are extremely important for the algorithm. I'll stop promoting because art has breaking news. Mrs. Calls Campers, $1.99, Smart Sweets. They sell them there. Yeah, they do, but they have natural flavors. Uh, I, I would pass, unfortunately. Why don't we talk about the most popular agricultural product in the world, which is art. Uh, I'm reading. That's right, coffee, right? Let's talk about coffee. Michelle's watching from Australia. Hello, Michelle. Hey, Welcome. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Tom Dalton, $1.99. Cheese puffs are art approved. <laughs> they are. Utz's. Cheese balls. So, so interesting. Coffee, coffee is so interesting because it's the most dirty crop in the world. They spray the heck out of it. But coffee beans are protected by the cherry, the big uh, bud around the uh, bean. You don't have to buy organic coffee, but it's better for the planet because that chemicals run off into the soil of oftentimes rainforest. So you don't have to for your health, but for uh, the environment, organic is good. Then I want to show you what you really should avoid, but I hear Art has breaking news. Rye bags, giving me a five pound sterling. Whoa, five pounds. Are there any oils other than extra virgin olive oil that don't need to say they're expeller press? Love the channel, keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so ex extra virgin olive oil is never gonna be expeller pressed because it's cold pressed. Um, avocado oil is always expeller pressed or centrifuge expressed. Coconut oil should always be virgin cold pressed. You don't want the refined one. And that's basically about it. Adam Cupper, $5. Keep on keeping them, Bobby. Keep on keeping wow. them, Bobby. Thank you for being part of my healthy triumvirate. Yeah, me Thanks and so Thomas Delauer and Dr. Berg. I watch those guys every day. I love them. Thomas is my friend. I haven't met Tom, uh, Dr. Berg yet. So let's keep talking about coffee here, right? So a lot of people just love these K-cups, and I understand the convenience of them. The thing is, 
I would highly advise against drinking this for two reasons. Number one, you have 212 degree water passing through aluminum foil. You know, like that art, aluminum. Then going into a plastic cup. Are you telling me it's not gonna pick up any of the metal or the plastic? Homie, don't play that game. But also, you don't know how fresh the coffee is in there because it's ground and it's sealed, but you don't know the quality and how fresh. Here's the master rule about coffee. Buy whole bean coffee, right? This is a good Chicago-based company. Buy whole bean coffee, because this will last you for a good three months in the airtight bag. When you open the bag, you have uh, two weeks before they start to lose peak freshness. I would grind it per cup, or if you want to grind it in one setting. Come over here, every grocery store has a grinder, like this right here. As soon as you grind your coffee beans, you have seven to 10 days of peak flavor. Will they be good 30 days later? Yes, but coffee's all about freshness. When you break the bean, you expose the essential oils to the air and they start to degrade. If you want peak flavor, which is what coffee's all about, only grind enough coffee to last you for seven to 10 days and that's it. That's what I would do for coffee. And then tea is really interesting because tea, you have to buy organic, right? Where is this here? Here we go. You have to buy organic tea because tea leaves are sprayed with harsh chemicals. And where does tea come from? They ain't growing tea in Illinois. They ain't growing it in California. They're growing it in Asia and Africa. Unfortunately, Asia and China, is, unfortunately, uses a lot of chemicals and herbicides that we don't allow here. So unless you're buying organic, you don't know what's on there. So they have to abide by the organic, but for the conventional, they can spray God knows what. And we all know they don't really follow the rules over there. I hate to say it. Buy organic, buy loose leaf tea because there's superior flavor. And don't buy too much flavored tea because it usually has natural flavors. Stangman's in the house. Nice, Stangman, Welcome, Chris man. from Austin. So we're having a great time. We got the aisle all to ourselves. Are you having fun? I repeat, are you having fun because we're doing a live? cook along at the big Belmont and Ashland Whole Foods. All right, show this, look how big this place is. I love shopping here because it's wide open spaces. The light here is fantastic. They treat us right and we're having a good time. So we have 1400 people on the stream. Keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. If you haven't done so yet, please share the stream over to Facebook, Instagram, because we're having a good old time, right? Now is the time where you take over the live stream. You guys let me know where to go, and I will go there. It's getting a little crazier. People are still stocking up on uh, canned vegetables and water. Like the shelf was half empty. Bobby, I finally bought Bobby's sauerkraut. Can I eat it raw? You only want to eat it raw, because if you cook it, you kill the probiotics. Better yet, go to Costco, get the big tub of wild brine. It's half the price. Stuff is so good for you. Let's see here. Can you make a video explaining PLU numbers? Yeah, yeah, I don't know about them, to be honest. So yeah, I have to research that. I don't know how much more you'd want to know. I mean, if you see a nine in front of the number, it's organic. If you just have a four digit number, then it's regular. Yeah, oh yeah, PL, yeah. Yeah, nine will be organic, non-GMO would be something else. But I don't know if you want to know exact codes. Bananas are one yeah. something. Bread aisle, that's a good question. Uh, what? Which collagen protein is kosher? 4011, thank you, Chase. I'm not I sure about that one. But Bread, I keep saying about bread here, gluten-free. All right, let's go to bread. I mean, bread really is one of the most popular things in the grocery store, and there's a lot of confusion about it, right? So we're gonna answer some questions, and I feel like we always kind of talk about bread. And while we're walking over there, Art will put the camera down so we don't show anyone's face here. But bread has a lot of options, and now more than ever, there's really good choices. And I'm going to show you some of the best ones right now. Everyone's coming in. I check this the out. Banana P O U. Uh, the the what? The banana P O U four zero one one. Ah, if you think the coronavirus haul and effect is not in uh, effect right now, frozen vegetables half sold out. Uh, Art behind you. Frozen waffles and pancakes, half sold out. If we went over one more aisle, you'd see the uh, canned vegetables and water, 
half sold out. It's crazy. I heard the lines this weekend at some of the grocery stores were off the charts, which is insane, right? So I want to talk about bread. So before we go there, bread should always be whole grain bread. White bread, stuff like that that has enriched wheat or bleached wheat has no nutrition. It's the whole grain that has the bran, the fiber, the hull, all the good stuff taken away, which is why I want you to generally look for your bread in the freezer section because the bread we want to eat is not going to have any preservatives. Can I show you something really cool? So Art and I got to Whole Foods today. We kept seeing this. It's an orange sticker. They lowered the price on a ton of stuff. So look at this. This is Ezekiel bread. It used to be $6.39. It's now $4.99. That's an amazing deal. So good on them. So if you're worried about salt intake, this is really cool because Ezekiel makes a low sodium sprouted bread. So low sodium or not, look for Ezekiel because it's spray, sprouted grain bread. And that's really good because sprouted grains like we talked about before are gonna be better for your tummy and digestion. And if you eat grains, they have to be whole grains. They really have to be because the fiber will satiate your hunger. It won't spike your blood sugar as much. And it really is good because you get all the extra fiber in your body. Now, what we talked about in the inflammation video we filmed earlier, foods that are inflammatory and how to replace them with low inflammation foods, is that gluten, all gluten, is inflammatory. Whether you're gluten tolerant or not, or gluten sensitive, it's inflammatory. If you want to reduce that, I would go for gluten-free bread. But not all gluten-free bread or gluten-free products are created equal, and people don't realize this, and I'm going to show you a prime case of that right now. But Art T. Almacy the third has breaking news. Sarah Osorio. Just gave you $1.99. I'm using my mom card for this, but y'all are worth it. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You're so sweet. Thank you. Okay, so I want to show you gluten-free bread that's good and an other one that's bad. So look at this. We come here, you take and you basket. might be like, okay, I, I'm buying gluten-free bread. Boom. I mean, this is like, in my opinion, the stupidest name ever, Glutino. So this is gluten-free bread. Why? Because there's no wheat or gluten in here. But my friends, when you see stuff like white rice starch and potato starch and uh, other simple starches like that, and you see canola oil, I would just put it back because there's good gluten-free whole grain, gluten-free grains, and there's simple carbohydrate gluten-free grains. These just spike your blood sugar. This is the same as sugar. When you eat simple carbs, it has the same effect in your body as eating sugar. It spikes your blood sugar, your body produces more insulin, you become insulin resistant, you get diabetes and stuff like that. So put this down and pick up this. In the meantime, Art has breaking news. Be GMO free, just gave you a dollar. Be GMO free, I agree, thank you. Thank you. This is by far the best gluten-free bread on the market. And it's Canyon Bakehouse. And why? Because instead of white rice flour and tapioca starch, yeah, you do see a touch of tapioca, that's your binder, but brown rice flour. Sorghum is a gluten-free whole grain. What kind of oil are they using? Extra virgin. Look at these. Teff, quinoa, amaranth. These are all whole grains that are gluten-free and so nutritious. These are not going to spike your blood sugar as much. These will satiate your hunger. This is the kind of stuff you really want. And if you want something even better, you get paleo bread. This is actually what we eat at home. It's very expensive. Oh, they're sold out. Did, I did. do have a question from, yes. from GMO, be GMO free. They gave a dollar, but they didn't put a question there, but they came back. Oh, yes, one. tell me. Have you used Lakanto Golden? Uh, it is similar to brown sugar in texture and good to bake with. Yeah, um, also, I haven't Lecanto used it. Lakanto powdered sugar, how does it taste? Yeah, uh, powdered sugar is fine. It's just powdered monk fruit. The golden is not like brown sugar because it's not soft and packable. The only brown sugar I've seen that's soft and packable is called, uh, what's that called? Uh, I talked about it before. It's on my Amazon storefront, amazon.com slash shop slash Flav City. I can't think of the name. It's a brown packable, brown sugar. I can see the package in my mind. If anyone knows, leave it. So, thank you, Sucrin. You guys are the best. <laughs> Elizabeth Seguin, $2 Canadian. How is Odo bread gluten-free no good? How is Odo bread gluten-free no Odo. Why is, sorry, why is Odo bread gluten-free no good? I've never, let me see if I see that. Odo. I've never heard of Odo. Listen, all you have to do is read the ingredients. Thank you for the super chat. If it's made with whole grains, good. If it's made with simple starches, no good. Very simple. Okay. 
Where to next? Let's see. Yeah, I have to do an AIP haul. I really have to. You're 100% right. What can you do for a diabetes person to gain weight? Oh, that's interesting. I have to think about that one. Udo, Udo, not Odo. Somebody Ooh. wrote Udo. Or, I've seen oh, Udis, Udis. Udis? Are you talking Maybe? about Udis? They wrote Udo. It's probably Udis. It's probably a spell check. It's actually, it's a, you're talking about Udis. I think I know the answer, but let me just grab a uh, pair. Udis. So this is their Close the door. delicious multi-grain delicious. Wow, they're really ballsy there, right? So let's see. Yeah, she's saying Odo. Odo. I never heard of that. Well, let's just see it. So very hard to see this. Rice starch, canola oil, brown rice flour, uh, sorghum. It's a Toronto brand. Ah, sugar. But as well, she says. Yeah. Udi's is not quite as clean as Canyon. Not quite as clean, but not as bad as I thought. Yeah, so I don't know the Canadian one. One day we gotta get to Canada and do a haul up there. Okay, where to next, my friends? Let's see here. We've got 1,500 people hanging out on a Monday afternoon oh, in the grocery store. Scammers. Hey, if we got any moderators here, I recommend if you could please help us out. Rather than be put in a timeout, use Hive user. Yeah, base culture. They're sold out, Chris. Oh, here it is. It's right here. Thank you, Chris. So this is by far the best bread in the grocery store and on Amazon. It's this. It's base culture keto paleo bread. So this bread will have no grains and very little starch. So look at the ingredients. You've never seen a bread like this. It's almond butter, flaxseed, arrowroot is the only starch, but they back out the fiber and then net carbs by using psyllium husk, almond flour, apple cider vinegar. Net carbs are four per slice. Now it's expensive, look at this. It's $9.99, but I'm telling you, if you're gluten-free, paleo, grain-free, keto, this is your best bet on the market because look, this is even more expensive. This is Julian's paleo bread. It weighs as heavy as a rock and the ingredients, let's see, water, See, coconut flour base. Coconut is so dry, you guys. So it's not bad ingredients, but it's very heavy and dense. I would not buy that. I would just buy the base culture. It's a women-owned company. I was supposed to meet the CEO at the Expo West Food Show in Anaheim this week, but they just pulled out of it. I guess a lot of, com a lot of companies aren't going because of the coronavirus. I'm still going to be there. So if you're going to be in Anaheim at the convention center on Thursday, stop by the Lacanto booth. Speaking of Lacanto and I'll be there uh, hanging out. Okay. BPA free cans. So a lot of the cans now are BPA free. Uh, let's see. Thank you for the love. Bad pickle teas, Panik. Yep. Go to bad pickle teas or Google them. Keto pizza crust. I'm gonna show you the only keto pizza crust in the grocery store. It's right here actually. That's a great company called Cali Flower. Not to be confused with Kali Power. So the pizza aisle now is really next level. I think of growing up, Art and I, in the 80s, we had what, Red Baron pizza? What else? Tombstone. Tombstone. Jake or Jack's. Exactly. What do you want on your tombstone? Hey, Palestine, Texas. Welcome, East Texas. Hey, oh. You just got a super chat Whoa. from Sarsfa Alfonsi, $5. USDA organic yes. is one thing, but what about the non-GMO project with the butterfly symbol on it? Love you both. Keep doing what you're Great doing. Thank you, Sarge. question. Thank Sarge. you for the love. Okay, this is, this is the most important question of the day so far. Non-GMO just means it's made with no genetically modified organisms or seeds. It has nothing to do with organic. But something that is USDA organic not only means by law that it's non-GMO, but it also means that it can't be sprayed with non-approved pesticides or herbicides. GMO can still be sprayed. GMO can still have a Roundup on it. It only means that the seed is not genetically modified, right? Don't let that little butterfly symbol from the non-GMO project make you too warm and fuzzy. Tanya Guy has a question for you and a super chat. Yes. $1.99. Is the soy lecithin okay in Lily's chocolate chip? Yeah, so a lot of people got freaked out when I recommended that. Yeah, number one, it's non-GMO. Soy lecithin is a harmless emulsifier, right? It's a, a derivation of soy just made to cream or to bring the chocolate together. It's totally fine, guys. No, they don't have it. I was gonna show you, it's called Cali 
flour. It's a mozzarella and cauliflower keto crust. Now, my favorite paleo crust by far is Capello's. These guys make a almond flour pizza crust here. Look at these ingredients. Have you ever seen this for a pizza? Eggs, almond flour, a little bit of arrowroot and cassava for binder, coconut milk, coconut oil, EVOO. Like, are you kidding me? Who does this? It's not super low carb, right? But it's super clean. It's expensive. It's $6.99, but this is so clean. You can get the ones that have the sausage on there. It's an amazing grain-free pizza that I love. I did say Google that. I don't know if it's badpicklettees.com or badpicklettshirts.com. Yeah, you'll Google find it. it. One of those. Yeah. Oh, super chat. Angel. Samara. Angel. What about other soda? What? Oh, what other soda waters do you recommend without sugar and natural flavors? Thank so, you so much. Four ninety nine. Yeah. So, the only sparkling waters that don't have natural flavors is Spindrift and a couple of the Trader Joe's ones. Flat water that is flavored is S. It's a uh, Illinois-based company. E S S E. Besides that, there's a soda. There's no soda that doesn't have natural flavors. That being said, Zevia is sugar-free with natural flavors. I'd rather you have natural flavors than 31 grams of sugar in a uh, can of soda, or pop, as we call it here in the Midwest. Ah. Hey, will you, oh, here's a question. Will you be in Anaheim this weekend? I can't go Thursday. No, I'll only be there on Thursday, unfortunately. Yeah, I wish I could be there longer. So the plan was actually to go to Anaheim and go to LA and bring Desi and Rose and make a week out of it and rent an Airbnb in Venice Beach. But then I'm not gonna travel with the girls when the virus is going around. So they're gonna stay home. I'm just gonna go for two days unless the whole thing gets canceled and then uh, come back. And then if you live in Boston, the following weekend, I'll be at the Boston Seafood Show on that Sunday. I think it's March 14th at the uh, MOWI, M-O-W-I, uh, Norwegian Salmon Booth. Come by there. I'm gonna be doing demos and hanging out unless I could cancel too, but Boston on the 15th on Sunday, Anaheim on Thursday of this week. Does okay, Whole Foods, Does Whole Foods carry organic wild rice? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen organic wild rice. I think wild rice by law is organic because it's wild and crazy rice, right? Hey, let me just go show you that, uh, that aisle. This is- coming to Texas anytime. Not that I know of. Art and I had a blast in Texas last time. For sure. I want to show you the rice aisle because it's decimated from, uh, it's riddled, right Art? Is kombucha keto approved? Uh, yes, it is kombucha approved. So look, oh wait, here we go. Well, this is, this, this is marked organic wild rice. But to be honest, I feel like most wild rice is gonna be organic anyway. The thing is, Art, by the way, everyone, if you haven't done so organic? yet, right on top. Oh, yeah. If you haven't done so yet, say hello to the one and only, Art Almacy. Art, tell everyone exactly what wild rice is. It's an aquatic plant. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. All right, that was quicker than I thought. Thank you, Art. <laughs> I think we had a super chat while you were talking. Oh, I Jessica. I rarely catch you live due to all the work out here in Cali, but I got you today. Keep up off the amazing content. Thank you, Thanks Jessica. So much, You're Jessica. so sweet. It's hey, a great. It's you just got another one. Dumb Are you serious? Nine. Whoa, can you recommend them? So. Yes. Um, Ancient Nutrition, women's multi and men's multi is one of the best on the market. Ancient Nutrition. If you go to my video, search Flavor City Vitamin Supplement Hall, click the link in the description box, it'll take you there. This is actually a grass. And because it's a grass, it has no arsenic, whereas white rice and brown rice actually has high arsenic levels because it grows in the ground. And um, if you're gonna eat rice, it should be brown rice because it has that hull on there, but it has pretty high levels of arsenic, so you don't wanna eat too much of that. This is a grass that has zero. Hey, Down Underland will be at the Expo West Anaheim this week. What booth will you be at on Thursday? Love to meet you. Lacanto. I'll be at the Lacanto Monk Fruit booth uh, from 11 to Spell 2 p.m. Uh, Lacanto, L-A-K-A-N-T-O. They make the monk fruit I love. Maybe we'll go over there in a minute. I'll be hanging out there. It's going to be a good old time. And you just super, chat? super chat. Help wow. me, $5. Great job, guys. Awesome. The other reason that I researched benefits of keto. Thank you the so much. The benefits of keto and paleo don't stop at weight loss. They stop at 
low inflammation. They're really good for disease recovery because I personally believe that sugar, like cane sugar, feeds cancer cells. People who are recovering should have a low to no sugar. If you're gonna eat sugar, it's gotta be paleo sweetener and it's a healing diet. I get emails, literally, on a daily basis saying people are losing weight, the pain's going away, the swelling's going away, and they're feeling great. Rhonda Whoa. Neighbors, $9.99. Whoa! Shout out yeah. to Porter Isle Gourmet, California, or California Oh, they're Santa Barbara? Pins, local Santa Barbara and Ventura, California. Counties, yep, so they do. Fish, great ingredients, just need change. I think they're blowing up. They're doing great right now. We use their cauliflower for things like no one's business. Rhonda, thank you for the super chat. You got another one. Quiet, prayerful times. So glad I caught your live stream. My mom is going through menopause. She wants to drink no. some of levels. I say, no, your thoughts? Hi, Art. Hey, no. hello. No, stay away from the thank soy you. milk. I don't really know what would be a good menopause food. I can research it, but do not drink soy milk. Forget about the estrogen. You don't want that. Soy also, you guys, has a high omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, meaning it's inflammatory. You really don't want that, right? Okay, let's show you. That's an interesting place for a red pepper right there. Yeah. Look at this. A little bit of tamari, and it's like a stir fry waiting to happen right here. Maybe it's for Iron Chef, like the, That's the right. chairman. I keep seeing this in the grocery store. Look at this. This is called right rice, and I believe it's made of vegetables. Let's see here. Right on rice? It's right, lentil flour, chickpea flour, pea fiber, ah, sunflower oil that's not expeller pressed, <laughs> uh, maltodextrin. How many more shows have you seen? Natural flavors. We always talk about you, buddy. We expect you to see Matthews. like 50 more since the last So time. while I love what they're doing here, they're making vegetable and legume-based rice, when you, got, when you add non-expeller pressed sunflower oil, in my opinion, it's toxic, it's inflammatory, it's garbage. When you add maltodextrin made from corn, it's highly uh, high on the glycemic index. It says non-GMO. And when you add natural flavors, it's like, what's the deal? So this is another prime example of what bugs me. A lot of things bug me in life, right? But when you have a premium product that costs $4 for seven ounces, so we're talking over $8 a pound, and you guys are using sunflower oil. What are you doing? You're already charging me a premium price. How much more expensive could it be for you to use olive oil, avocado oil, or coconut oil? Charge me an extra 10 cents. I don't care, right? I just don't like this new trend of like, oh, we're gonna capitalize on this whole gluten-free, grain-free, keto, paleo, uh, uh, dairy-free, and then charge people three X the price and use inferior ingredients. Kevin's going to four more DMB shows this summer. Are you serious, dude? And Maggie B is in the house. Maggie B, the inventor of the hashtag. Uncle Farturo slang and hashtag. Hashtag feed art too, I think. Ultra pasteurized milk is bad even if organic. I mean, it's not ideal because ultra pasteurized means that it's highly pasteurized and you nuke all of the living nutrients in there, right? All right, let's show what's going on down here, Art. The, uh, right the Corona-inspired need to chill, man. Look at this. Half of the uh, canned vegetables here, you guys, are gone. Look at that. This is people stacking up. So we're noticing people are buying water, canned vegetables, pickles, mustard, mustard. which is really weird, and what else? Uh, and frozen food, right? So we just did a video today about low sodium food. And this is a no salt added organic kidney bean. And you could add your own salt to this because this has literally no salt. But people looking to limit their salt, it's not me, it's probably not you. It's people who have high blood pressure and kidney disease. And you have to be careful because if you live in the middle aisle of the grocery store, a lot of the foods have jumped up, jacked up the salt. I would go for low salt foods like we identified in that video coming out probably this week. But then buy something like this that has no salt, get good salt like Himalayan pink salt or Celtic sea salt, season it with that because that's a raw unrefined salt that has 70 trace minerals that don't spike your blood pressure as much. Really good stuff. What's going on, Art? Spammers. Spammers. Maggie, staying man, we need you to uh, patrol what's going on here. We got some spam. Who spams? Why is someone taking on a cooking Good and box. shopping channel? It's like, I don't understand that. It's like, you're gonna peddle your nudie magazine on here. We're talking about GMOs and low carbon paleo. And you're like, hey, if you're interested in nudie magazines, click right here. Nudie magazine day, nudie, ma this isn't Billy Madison. We don't care about that. Go away, you're not wanted on our channel. But Art has good news. 
$1.99. Thoughts on sparkling water brands? Waterloo. No, Waterloo, any flavored sparkling water has Thank you. natural flavors. Only get Spindrift. Spindrift is the best sparkling water on the market, and thank you for that uh, super chat. Salvador Bentley really wants you to come to Detroit to do some reviews of I, grocery stores there. I've never been to Detroit, and I think it's long overdue. That's a really good point. So we just talked about the best quality dressings at this store. It's going to be brag right it's going to be primal it's going to be chosen foods why because they're not using canola oil and soybean oil they're using extra virgin olive oil and they're using uh avocado oil when you look at something like newman's own people just think it's good because his name's on there and the profits go to charity but guys what's the first ingredient gmo soybean oil so not only is it gmo it's highly processed highly refined at high heats with a chemical when you do that to soybean oil, listen, you alter the fatty acids so your brain can't recognize what it is. It's like when you eat aspartame or Diet Coke, your brain can't process that. It's really bad for your body. Plus, these kind of processed oils are inflammatory. Inflammation leads to weight gain, diabetes, uh, uncomfortable feelings, heart disease, stuff like that. You don't want that. That's why art, look, you wanna get these kind. I know they're more expensive, but in the long run, you're gonna win out when you get Primal Kitchen because they use avocado oil. Here's a new brand that I've never seen before. It's actually called Fodi, like the FODMAP. Fodi, yeah. Uh, Fodi, yeah. Fodi like a 40. I'm like, yeah. So this is low FODMAP and gut friendly. So let's see the ingredients here. Uh -oh. Extra virgin olive oil, good for you. Oh, you guys, how do you take the best in class oil and follow that with non-expeller pressed sunflower oil you want me to follow that with something good? Yes, please. Courtney Morris, $9.99. Are you worried about the coronavirus? I love you so much. I just bought your cooked oh. barbecue chicken. So yummy. <laughs> Thank you, Courtney. Thank um, you. Am I worried about the coronavirus? Not personally. I'm more worried about what it's doing to the economy and the stock market. I think if you wash your hands and play it safe, you'll be fine. Thank you for that super chat. Thank you for buying the cookbook. But guys, why would you take something like best in class oil, then follow it with even, the, even if that were expeller press, I'd be like, guys, get rid of that. You don't need that. And then, I love the fact they're using Himalayan pink salts. Everything else is really clean, but they're cheaping out on the oil. It's really a $1. bummer. $1.99 from Imgem. Can collagen cause stomach issues? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Collagen, some people I've heard have like, someone emailed me about a breakout on their skin because of that, and they were going to eliminate it to see if that was, that was it. But no, your stomach should be 100% fine. Whole Foods has been on fire today with good music. Amazing music. Hey, speaking of amazing, look at this. So Siete is one of the most Bobby approved brands. They now have taco seasoning mix. And normally taco seasoning mix can have really cruddy ingredients. Like, look, what's rice flour doing in there? What's, uh, oh, I can't see anything else, let me see. What's uh, sunflower oil and yeast extract doing in there? These can be horrible. I've seen MSG in here. My boys over at Siete, Chris, they're gonna get bought out, right? I wanna be an investor in, in Siete somehow. Look at these ingredients. I've never seen this. So chili powder, the sweetener is date sugar. Oh my God, that's amazing. Nutritional yeast, AKA vegan Parmesan. Look at that, that's insane. These guys always do it right. Their packaging is beautiful. Their story is great. It's a premium product. I would buy the chips at Costco, but it's only a matter of time before they get bought out. Chris, thank man. He says buy now. Yeah, I don't know how to get in. It's not a stock. And did you say Epic got bought out too? Amazing. These companies in Austin. I'm gonna send them an email. I want to invest in that company. They should actually give me in. some shares. I I, I've promoted them for a year straight. I think I deserve a little bit of equity. Now let's get out of here. It's getting kind of crazy. Let's go talk about other stuff. All right, let's mosey over here. The chicken and beef oh, and Courtney pork. Morris, $1.99. I found monk fruit syrup at Walmart yesterday. Yeah, so they do have it. And listen, it is the only low carb, sugar free syrup. It's, it's um, pancake syrup or uh, what's like a maple syrup. But they all have natural flavors in there. But there's no other one that doesn't have it. So it's still okay and it's way better than maple syrup if you can't have sugar. Now, this is where things get interesting, right? Processed meats and stuff like that. The best bacon you can buy at the grocery store is this right here. Look, wow, it's on sale. Look at that price. Organic, no sugar, uncured bacon. It's normally 
Whoops. Is that their Sunday bacon? Uh, oh, this is not the Sunday bacon. It's normally $8 for half a pound. Now it's $5. That's a good deal. But it's still really expensive, guys. You're talking about on sale, $10 a for pound. Eight ounces. Yeah, it's eight ounces. So normally it's $16 a pound. What I would do is go to the longtime sponsor of our channel, Thrive Market, thrivemarket.com slash Bobby, and get their pasture-raised pork because even though that's organic pork, it's not pasture-raised, it's not free to forage, it's impossible to find pasture-raised pork at the grocery store. It's impossible to find pasture-raised chicken, but it's so important to eat that because it's a pig that is free to forage and has a higher nutritional profile and they won't eat any GMO grains. Now, every other bacon you see here that's not organic is eating GMO grains, but at least the Applegate one isn't. But I would highly encourage you to try Thrive Market with my promo code and get that bacon. It's amazing. You have more breaking news? Yeah, William Goldman gave you $2 on a question. What's your opinion on grapeseed oil? Bad. I used to use it back in the day before I was woke, I'd say. Grapeseed oil, even expeller pressed, isn't that great. It's good in the sense that it's a neutral flavor, high heat oil, but it was invented because the winemakers had all these leftover seeds and they're like, let's make money out of this. They turned it into an oil. It's not good, you don't want that. Amber Stover, I thought you were from uh, Long Grove. You're from Arlington Heights. Whoa! Super chat at traffic light right now. Wanted to thank you. I have two kids, <laughs> six months and three. Sister has two chronic diseases. Dad, wow. plant based. I Whoa. cook for everyone because of all I do. I depend on you for everything food related. Oh wow. my God! Be Girls, safe driving. Thanks so much. Thank you yeah, for the super safe. chat. Because of those diseases and everything, you have to cook your own food. Stick with keto and paleo. Chronic diseases only get fed by refined sugar, starchy food highly inflammatory oils like soy and canola. If you can put good stuff in your body, you control your health, you feel good. That's why Desi and I feel good all the time. And then we go out to eat maybe once a week and no matter where we go, even if we go to farm to table restaurants, they're using canola oil, they're using bad salt. We always feel a little bloated and inflammatory afterwards and that's why. Okay, beef. We talk about healthy beef. You really always wanna get, as you guys know, Gra grass-fed, go here. for it. You always want to get grass-fed beef. Ideally 80-20. 80-20 is actually what they have at Walmart and it's uh, organic too. So I would get the Walmart one because 85-15 for me is a little lean. But turkey, you can't get grass-fed. There's no such thing. The best you can get is organic, meaning the turkey is not eating organic grains. See the color of this and compare it to that. This is ground turkey thigh. You can go with this or you, and you can, can go, go with that. You can go with this, or you can go with that. Which one would you do? You go with this one. Because turkey meat, look at this, it says, Art. 99% lean. 99 problems, but flavor is one. Exactly, because you're going to dry it out. Well said, Art. You've got to go with really ground dumb. turkey because it has more flavor. It's good fat, and that's what you want. You want to get in here? All right, then we go over to chicken. You can't get pasture-raised chicken at the grocery store. If you live in Chicago, there's an amazing store on North Avenue and Elston called Local Foods. They sell pasture-raised chicken, pasture-raised pork, and grass-fed beef. The best you can do is this company here. It's Pine Manor. They supply a lot of uh, Whole Foods. It's organic, certified humane chicken. Now, it's not going to be uh, free to forage, pasture-raised, but it's humanely raised, good quality, non-GMO chicken. That's the best. I usually get that, to be honest. What do you got for me, Art? Hey, Arnold. 14 Whoa. from Houston. Me and my wife watch all your videos and just help us lose weight and lower inflammation, keep the videos going. What do you think about lupin beans? Costco has ground lupin. Yeah, you know, I haven't seen that at my Costco. I don't know enough about lupin beans. I know it's a low carb bean and flour. I just don't know how it reacts in terms of how dry it is. So I'll have to research that. You guys, we have 1,600 people on live right now. Let's share. Let's let's break our record today. Just not every day we get to go live at the grocery store. So share. All right, how can they share? You can share this on all forms of social media, dating apps, yep. anything you got. Hey, Mike Goddard keeps coming back with a question about you. Have you updated your Norwegian farm salmon info? He's saying they're just as bad as China, according no. to recent reports. Okay, so that's not true. So actually, I'll be working with a Norwegian farm salmon company at the Boston Seafood Show. Here's the deal. Go to seafoodwatch.org. The good Norwegian farm salmon are some of the best in the world. That doesn't mean everyone from Norway is doing it good, but Norway, the good ones, do it right. They don't overcrowd the nets, they don't overcrowd the aquacultures, they don't feed it poop and animal byproduct. Yeah, just because 
you're known for making good salmon doesn't mean everyone's gonna be there. There's bad actors, but the good ones, the ones I deal with, the ones that Whole Foods deal with, are super high quality. I know there's videos on YouTube saying Norwegian salmon, the most toxic in the world. That's showing the bad guys. Chile and Asia are known as bad because they generally have bad farming practices. Norway is known as one of the top, and uh, if you really know where to get it from, it's super high quality. Ruby XO, just give me $1.99. What about kids' daily vitamin, if any, thank you. Yeah, so that's tough because a lot of, let's just look right here, a lot of the dailies they have bad ingredients in there. I, I know about I know about adults. So Ancient Nutrition makes one of the best daily uh, probiotics, or I'm sorry, the daily multis, but I don't know if they have a kids one too. The thing is with kids ones, you just want a little less of the vitamins, but sometimes they'll add sugar and stuff in there. It's a little crowded over there. Maybe we won't go there. I'll do some uh, I'll do some research for you and we'll check it out. SEMA, yes, you can watch anywhere in the world pretty much. It's just a question uh, if people in Europe are awake right now to watch it. There you go. Some are. Go down, down here for a while. Somebody was complimenting my shoes. Thank you very much. <laughs> New Balance is uh, the only company that really makes shoes that fit me. So if you're a Costco shopper, they have a big, here's the funny thing. They have a 24 ounce version of this, grass-fed unflavored collagen in a Costco. It's $30. This, look at this art, is $50. It's $50 for 20 ounces here at Whole Foods whereas Costco is $30 for 24 ounces. Get the one there. But the weird thing about Vital, whenever they do flavored ones like this, they always add natural flavors. But for the plain one, they don't. But when it comes to the drinks, the flavored ones don't have natural flavors. So it's something about a powderized form of collagen that they have to add natural flavors instead of the real deal. It really bothers me, to be honest. Luna, five dollars. Do you recommend collagen and capsules? Collagen peptides powder two times a day is getting a bit pricey. Love you guys. Thank you. Well, it's actually way cheaper than the capsules. So, the capsules they have at Costco is by something Young Theory. It's not grass fed, and it's way cheaper to buy the big container at Costco and scoop it yourself. Go to one scoop a day. You don't need two. I I do two. Some days I do one, but the stuff in the pills is way inferior because it's not grass fed and it's way more expensive. So stick with the powder, that's the way to go. One of the coolest things, see if they have it, they usually have grass-fed butter powder here. And if you wanna get fat in your diet, where, oh, uh, they don't have it now, that's a bummer. They it's used a bummer, to have a grass-fed butter powder, and it was the coolest thing ever. A lot of people are asking me about pre-workout, and I have to research that. I don't know too much about that. Let's go around the corner and look for kids' multivitamins. Let's see if they have that here. You know what's really cool? The other week, my throat started feeling a little iffy, and I bought this while we were working. It's called Kick-Ass Immune Activator. I know, it. I said it, oh my God. It's all. You called it Kick Butt last time. I, uh, I did, it's all, it's all herbs and stuff like that. Very, very high quality, and it worked great. You put four drops on your tongue every hour. It's really clean. Patricia, we're in Whole Foods at Ashland and Belmont in Lakeview. That's right, if you're at Whole Foods, come on by. Now, let's see over here. Here, multivitamins. So, if you're a woman, get this. Ancient Nutrition Women's is specially formulated pH balance for a woman. That's strong enough for a man. This is a really good one. If you're a dude, get these. Ancient Nutrition Multi-Men. Now, here's my problem. You start going to something for kids like Smarty Pants. Let me see if I see them here. And they add sugar to it. And I, we talked about this at our Costco vitamin video. These are all for adults here. Uh, is there a kid's one? Yeah, go away. More spammers? Yeah. yeah. I don't see the kid's one, but probiotics should really be bought in the fridge section because probiotics are living. The ones that are shelf stable are vastly inferior. And once again, show this one, Art. Ancient makes a very good one. This brand, Renew Life, makes a good one. This is, I would get the immune one. And it's expensive, but it's really worth it. And this is good too, Renew Life. Very, very high quality, right? And then, if I ever feel a tickle in my throat, I just buy a bunch of these turmeric immune boosters where I make my tea, and I shoot these because it's turmeric and black pepper and good stuff. But guys, if you want to stay healthy or you feel like you have a cold, Google Flav City Immune Tea. My turmeric ginger immune boosting tea makes you strong like bull, and it takes the cold and it kicks it out of your butt, right? Okay. 
No, Smarty Pants. Smarty Pants are horrible. They have sugar. If you're allergic to fish, can you take an omega-3 supplement? I don't know the answer to that question. My guess would be yes, but I'm not sure. Oh, let's see. Yeah. Mickey has auto nutrition on, or ancient nutrition on auto oil. Auto order. Auto order. Thank you. Uh, please discuss coconut butter. Oh, coconut butter is great. That's just coconut mana. It's fantastic stuff. Tilapia, for the most part, isn't healthy. Garden of Life puts natural flavors in everything. Everything else is very, very clean, but they always use natural flavors, so it's kind of a bummer. And we got a Hey Arnold Super Chat here, Art? Yeah. Will you ever do an Asian store haul? I don't know that much about Asian food and sauces, but I really should because it's been a popular request. Joseph, what up, Joseph? Dollar ninety nine. Hey yo. What up, Joseph? What's up, man? How was that? Uh, How's doing? Uh, how was that hockey game the other day, huh? Let's see if we can. Oh, here we go. Thanks, uh, sir. Pro bio. Where's the kid stuff? Kids, Thank kids, you to kids. Hey and all the super chatters. I can't find kid stuff. Hmm. All right, it's okay. Ugh. No way. I'll do some research on that, you guys. Okay, where to next? Leave the request down below. I'm going there next. You guys vote, I decide. Let's see. Does all sauerkraut have probiotics? No, only the fridge case one, only the naturally fermented one, and that Frank's one at Walmart. It can't have vinegar. If it doesn't have vinegar, it's naturally fermented. Kombucha, frozen food. Toothpaste. I got to do a toothpaste one, right? Thoughts on energy Is juice? Manuka honey the best? It really is, but it's really expensive. But Costco has an amazing deal on Manuka, and it's got tons of really healthy nutrients and natural like vitamins in it. It's an amazing honey from New Zealand normally. Thoughts on La Cologne? Uh, it's a very, very good coffee, and the Mocha Draft doesn't have too much sugar and no natural flavors. Mocha Joe? That's right. Skin lotions, protein powders. How excited are you to almost be at a million? It's exciting. But to be honest, it's just a number. I don't want to like celebrate the number. It's just, it's going to be an amazing stop on a very, very big road that's going to keep on going. I'm very excited for that. Uh, electrolyte powders. Kids Flintstone vitamins. That's what I grew up with. No, we don't want that. But we I don't. swallowed them. I hated the, the taste <laughs> when you could chew them. So I just sweeteners. Said. Let's go to sweeteners. Let's go over yonder. I don't remember. I don't think I like the grape ones. They were kind of nasty. <laughs> Is that like Dino? Was that the dinosaur? <laughs> Another spammer. Go away. And I can show you over my sweeteners, actually. They're almost sold out of... Art uh, Grocery Hall. Do a what? Oh, people want an Art Grocery Hall. I think they <laughs> do subscribers. We'll have to do that. Hang on, spammer. Okay. I want to talk hey, about sweeteners. Jesse's asking, what's for dinner? Uh, Put it in the form of a super chat. <laughs> I was just thinking about that, babe. As soon as we're done, I'm going to go look at the uh, groceries here. If you have a recommendation, sweetie, please let me know. Alan, girl, I have not. I've only seen the first episode of Curb from this season, so I'm very behind. <laughs> I like Desi's comment. What's for dinner? This is Desi. Desi and I are almost caught up on Homeland. It's very good. Let me talk about crackers really quick. So, Rumor we don't. has it, Mary's gone. Mary? Rumor has it Mary's gone cracker. Oh, I, it is verified. It's true. So here's the deal. We don't eat grains in our house, right? We think they're inflammatory and our bodies don't process them well. But if you're going to eat grains, you have to eat whole grains, right? Because gluten on its own is very inflammatory. So if you pick up something like a multi-grain flax, to me this is very misleading. So multi-grain. What does that mean? It doesn't mean much because the first ingredient is unbleached and rich flour, right? So they get rid of all the nutrition, right? The fiber, the bran, the hull. Then they take synthetic vitamins like iron, thiamine, and niacin and put it back there. They cook it in safflower oil. And they also have, what else here? Da -da 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 -da. Then there's the whole grains down here. You guys, if you ever see a cracker, a bread, a pasta, that's made with enriched wheat grains or enriched wheat uh, macaroni or cracked wheat. That's another word for, in my opinion, garbage. There's no nutrition in stripping grains down. You have to go to something that's a whole grain like this. Art just said, Mary's gone crackers. I mean, look at this. It's a super seed cracker. So if I was gonna eat grains, I would eat these because, look, 
It's made with whole grain brown rice, a complex carb. Quinoa, pumpkin seeds, seeds, brown flax seeds, sesame seeds, this is what you wanna eat. So not only is it gluten-free, it's also low inflammation because there's no gluten in here. It also has no crappy processed oils in here. This is the kind of stuff that won't spike your blood sugar. This is the kind of stuff that won't cause inflammation, which can lead to high cholesterol. Did you guys know, and it's my opinion in many studies, and Desi believes this too, that high cholesterol isn't caused by food. It's not caused by saturated fat. It's caused by inflammatory food, like gluten, like this, like cane sugar. High inflammatory foods cause inflammation in your body. It's your body's job to send cholesterol to inflammation to calm it down. That's what spikes cholesterol, not eggs and bacon and beef. Pasture-raised eggs, pasture-raised bacon, and pasture-raised beef is the best quality saturated fat you can get. Another really good cracker is flacker. The only problem is it has got a fishy flavor because it's made with flax seeds, apple cider vinegar, and that's it, and salt. And they're actually extremely keto, and they have no gluten, no grains. They just have a little bit of a funky flavor, but they're crunchy as can be, right? Now, Art, show that big wall behind you. Sweeteners. Wow, there's so many options. There's sugar, there's cane sugar, there's brown sugar, there's maple syrup, there's agave nectar, there's date nectar, there's honey, manuka honey, there's coconut sugar, there's pomegranate molasses, and there's keto sweeteners, like monk fruit. Oh my God. Dude, it's enough to make a man go, oh, I don't know, just give me the cane sugar. No, 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 no. So, listen to me. This stuff, why do I hate cane sugar? Why do I call it the devil, el diablo? El diablo, I call it this because number one, we all know it's responsible for weight gain, heart disease, obesity, but cane sugar does a really devious thing. It kills gut bacteria and promotes bad bacteria. It also causes inflammation. Inflammation, I keep repeating it, is one of the root causes of many, many ailments in the body. So stay away from cane sugar. I don't care if it's organic cane sugar. I don't care if it's turbinado sugar. I don't care if it's organic, if it's brown. Stay away from it. I'm gonna tell you the better ones as soon as Arthur T. MLC gives me a little news. Carrie Moore says you're the best and is giving you two dollars through a super chat. So thank you. Wow, Carrie. thank you so much, Carrie. I appreciate that. Now, so uh, Stangman and Maggie B. Uh, when you see spammers, I find yes. that hiding them on the channel is yes. a better option than putting them in a timeout for 300 seconds. FYI. I'm not sure. Hey, Desi, is jaggery cane sugar? I feel like jaggery is raw cane sugar. Um, but you're better off getting coconut sugar. Now, let's talk about paleo sweeteners. What are paleo sweeteners? Well, they're not zero glycemic, they're not carb-free, they're not sugar-free, but they're paleo low glycemic sweeteners that are natural. They're not from a, uh, a cane sugar that's bleached and processed, they're 100% natural. One of my favorites is this. This is maple syrup. It's fantastic, it's not keto, it's paleo, it's absolutely tasty and a low glycemic. Another fantastic one would be coconut sugar. That's right. Here, coconut palm sugar, don't be scared by palm, is really good stuff. It's the coconut nectar blossom dried out and powderized. The flavor of this is almost nutty and caramel. Desi uses this for a lot of paleo baking. If you're keto, you can't have that. But for paleo, I would go with this and maple syrup and art has a bu 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 breaking news. Andres Yee gave you four ninety nine. Learn a lot from you guys. Thank you. What do you think about kids' eczema related to diet? Well, yeah, for sure. Kids' eczema is going to be a direct result of diet. Put the kids on keto and paleo. Stop giving them sugar. Stop giving them refined starches. If they're going to have some starch, it can be cassava. It can be almond flour. Try the keto paleo diet, and I promise you that the sugar they're eating, the grains they're eating, maybe the bad fat like soybean oil is contributing to their eczema because skin ailments are a direct result of poor dieting choices. Now, another great sweetener, paleo, is honey. Now be careful because here's the deal. If you get a lot of honeys, I'm not saying this one for sure, but sometimes you'll buy cheap honey in the bottle. You wanna know where your honey comes from. So this is organic, right? And I trust Whole Foods, but China, let me talk about China earlier about, talk about China doing what? They were, oh, they spray the uh, harsh chemicals on the tea. China has ruined 
the honey industry because what they do is they take honey harvested in China, they cut it with a rice syrup, and they export it here. We got wise to their game, said we're not importing Chinese honey anymore. That solved the problem, right? No. The Chinese are very smart, they're very crafty, right? They export their honey first to Singapore, Malaysia, then it comes here. You have to know exactly where your honey comes from, which is why I always say, look at this stuff, Art. Know where it comes from, Wisconsin, right? Everywhere you live around the country, you're gonna find local honey. Wisconsin, this comes from. Uh, this one here comes from Michigan. If you go to Costco, they always have a raw local honey and that's what you wanna get. And raw is good because it hasn't been heated to make it more viscous and it has more of the living nutrients in there. Oh, excuse us. Now, Manuka honey, something I actually don't buy. Look at this art, Manuka right here. It's so expensive. I mean, this is raw Manuka honey. It's always usually from New Zealand or Australia. I would buy it at uh, Costco. They have the most amazing uh, deal ever. Bees feeding on the nectar of the manuka bush found in New Zealand. Manuka is one of the most complex creations in nature. So it's going to have a ton of health properties from that manuka flower. Is it worth the money? I'm not sure, but if you're going to get it, get it from Costco. Now, let's go to another fantastic paleo sweetener is date sugar. Date syrup. Date, date syrup or date sugar is great. You can get it in the liquid form or a powdered form. It's a paleo sweetener. Another paleo sweetener is this, agave nectar. It's low on the glycemic index, but here's the deal. We don't use this anymore. Why? When I did research for a sweetener video, I found out that uh, agave nectar has as much fructose as cane sugar. So even though it's a low glycemic, it has a lot of fructose. Why is that bad? Too much fructose can make you insulin resistant. So it's not the best keto sweetener. I've seen worse, right? I'm the paleo sweeteners, I've seen worse, but I would really avoid this. It's not ideal. Speaking of keto sweeteners, something that didn't exist like back in my day of the 80s, now we have a ton of options. So this is Lacanto. This is the company, I'll be at their booth on Thursday in Hanaheim at the uh, Natural Food Show. This is monk fruit sweetener. It's not pure monk fruit. It's monk fruit blended with non-GMO. Where's the non-GMO? Here we go. With non-GMO erythritol, which is important because that's made from corn. The reason why I love this, zero calorie, zero carbs, zero glycemic, and it's a one-to-one -one replacement with sugar. This is what makes it a game changer. You can literally sub out sugar in any recipes with this and make it keto, sugar-free, zero carb. That being said, I wouldn't go crazy with this. It's great for recipes. Don't over abuse this stuff because it's still not great for the gut. Too much of sugar-free sweeteners like stevia, monk fruit, erythritol are not the best for your gut and gut bacteria, but as a replacement for sugar here and there, a little bit in your coffee, not gonna kill you and way better than sugar. Now, this stuff down here is pure erythritol. I don't like pure erythritol. I find it has a cooling effect on my tongue. I just make sure it's non-GMO. I would never use uh, corn. That's why it's gotta be non-GMO. They used to have maltitol here. I would never use maltitol. It's gonna make you poop your pants. Now check this out. Someone asked about golden. It's just golden because uh, I believe it's roasted, but it's not soft and packable like the sucrine uh, gold brown sugar. And then Stevia really should be. It's no secret anymore. It should be Stevia, and that's it. It could have maybe a little bit of a, uh, I've seen ones with milk powder in there, but I've seen ones with maltodextrin. You don't want that. You want pure Stevia and stay away from, look at this art. All these flavored drops here, they all have natural flavors. Valencia orange, that's natural flavors. Root beer, natural flavors. Even the sweet drops, regular. I, they print it so small, but they have natural flavors. Stay away from that. Run, Forrest, run! You don't want that, right? So, that's about it for sweeteners. I want to say that's about it. There's a lot of stuff here, right? Okay, more questions. I need a water break. 1,700 people on. Hi, five family. Having a great time on a Monday afternoon. Where else do you want to be? Art and I have been here since 1130. 
We brought Chipotle here. We had it on the first floor. We filmed the video about low inflammation foods. We filmed the video about low sodium healthy foods. And then we popped on for the live stream because I love creating content. I love making this art and I love hanging out in the grocery store. We love hanging out with you. This is my joy. Besides hanging out with my family, I love creating content and hanging out with you because this is what I enjoy more than anything else. Let's do one more because then I gotta go shop. And Art and I gotta go home, I miss Rose. And we gotta go make dinner. All right, one more. How about chocolate bars? I feel like we talked about that last time. Raw cheese is amazing. Uh, cheese section, please. All right, let's go, that's actually a very, it's a very good section. So right there is cheese. And I think we should talk about it because there's a lot to talk about, right? So, let's go to the fancy cheese section. Oh, the, oh wanna go over there? Let's start here. We've actually never gone to the fancy cheese section. So, check this out, All right? So, it's my opinion, it's my opinion that you should always have organic, if not grass-fed cheese. Why? Because all the uh, dairy cows that come uh, produce the cheese in the milk have a GMO feed otherwise. So, I would at least get organic. So. The best one on the market, it's really expensive right now, it's on sale actually, is this one. It's organic and raw and grass-fed. So raw means it's never been pasteurized. And I believe in the US, to be raw, it has to be aged at least 10 months. But this is gonna have living uh, uh, nutrients in here that don't get killed by the pasteurization process. If you don't wanna get that, I would just go for this. Organic Valley Cheddar, why? It's USD organic, meaning the cows are having only non-GMO grains. Pasture raised is nice, but they still eat grains. And they have grass too, but this is the least you want to do if you can't get grass fed. You got news there? Kathy B just gave you five dollars high from Des Plaines. Oh nice! So much healthier thanks to you. Kathy B, meet Maggie B, Maggie B. Uh -huh. meet it's all Kathy because B. of you, Kathy. And Jennifer, you're my health heroes. Much love to you both. Oh, wow. You guys are so sweet. Thank, Thank you. you. So, if even something like Kerrygold, it's 80% of the time grass-fed. This is gonna be far superior, in my opinion, to any other grain-fed, GMO grain-fed milk cow. That's very, very important. Now, I would also say that we would never ever buy shredded cheese because it's gonna be pre-shredded to be coated in that anti-caking agent, which you don't want. See, look, these are always covered in anti-caking agents like powdered cellulose. That's not terrible per se, but it's gonna affect the meltability. You really don't want that in your body. You can grate your own cheese, you guys. It's not really that hard to do, and it's cheaper, right? Okay, and then, what else? Let's go to the fancy cheese art. Shit, there's not too much I can talk about over there. Just got 60 pesos from... Are you serious? Joe Serrano. Oh, it's so cool. Probably you cleared my doubts on cane sugar, but what about fresh sugar cane? Popular snack here with lime and chili. Keep up the great, Bobby and Nark. Yeah, so I've never had fresh sugar cane juice. I heard it's really tasty and it's actually not that sweet. I'd say that's okay because it's kind of like having maple water. It's gonna be a very light sweetness and it's not gonna be reduced or concentrated. Um, so probably not ideal because it's still not paleo, but I'd say it's okay. The sugar's gonna be very minimal there. We're talking probably four grams for a cup of it, way better than uh, cane sugar, right? Chrissy B just gave you $5 and Ooh. a pair doing a mic drop. Awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Thank that could you. be the, be that and the biceps pair could be the best one ever. People with B as their last name, Maggie B. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I get maple Chrissy water B. is the pure water tapped from the tree before it's reduced into maple syrup. It's amazing. Okay, let's see here. What else do we want to talk about? Got sauces here. You know, let's just go to the oils. I mean, I think there's so much confusion about oils and fats. I mean, talk about every live stream, but there's always something new to talk about. What's your questions about cooking oils and ghee and coconut oil? Hit me up with those questions. I'm going to walk over there right now. Musa Amali, $5. I followed your recipe for the New York Street the other night, and it was the best. Thank you so much. Reverse seared, bro? Love to hear that. Thank you. I love to hear that. Thank you, by the way, Maggie B and Stangman for being amazing uh, moderators. What's your opinion on kefir? I love kefir. It's gotta be organic, grass-fed, or dairy-free without any natural flavors. You're a big fan of 24, too. Yeah, that's right. 
Um, there's a new kefir from Harmless Harvest Coconut that is amazing dairy free. I'm gonna buy some right now actually uh, because it's delicious. I am drinking water right now. Uh, I bought the Parm Crisps bags. Mucus the next day. What you shouldn't have mucus from Parmesan cheese because it's a low lactose, but if you're very dairy sensitive, you could have that, right? Sprayable oil. Okay, I like to hear about that. Pecan Salvador, oil. Thanks for the lip balm info. Appreciate it. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, Whoa. Got a number one fan, a jumping pair of nine wow. Whoever made the. Millie, tomorrow Whoever is. made these thank pairs you. are hilarious. Millie, thank you very much. I really much appreciate that. Okay, let's go down to the oils now. Oils, fat, and ghee. So many questions about this. Now, there are some really good new posh oils out there. So come in here, Art. So these kind of oils like walnut and pecan oil, these are great for not cooking. These are a uh, great salad dressing oil. Very, very good for you, right? Even though this is expelled pressed grapeseed oil, I wouldn't get that. It's still not a heart healthy oil. So walnut oil, pecan oil, uh, macadamia nut oil, really good for salad dressings, okay? Now, if you're gonna look at ghee, what's the difference, you guys, between this ghee right here and this ghee right here? There is actually a pretty big difference in my opinion. This is 100% grass-fed, also crazy expensive. I have a feeling this is from Texas, I guarantee you. Let's see here. Oh no, California, right? This is grass-fed 100%, and this right here Art, is not. This is USDA organic, meaning they eat grains that are organic. Still better than conventional, but in my opinion, cows aren't supposed to eat grains. Cows are supposed to eat grass, which is why this, I wouldn't buy this brand because it's very expensive, has a higher nutritional profile because pasture-raised grass-fed beef and beef fat uh, like this, will have higher conjugated linoic acids, higher omega-3 fatty acids, and it's better for you. And the cool thing about ghee, do you know how they make ghee? They take butter and they simmer it until the milk solids have, Art is singing the song. What's the song? Shania. Restless is the chorus. By Shania? No, the chorus. Oh, the chorus. Oh, thank you. That's right. They cook this until basically it slightly burns and the milk solids separate from the milk fat. The milk solids are where the casein and the lactose live. So if you're ca uh, casein or lactose insensitive, you can eat ghee because it's pure milk fat. There's no casein or lactose left in here. It has a high smoke point and the flavor is amazing. This is expensive though. Some Costco's are starting to have it. Look out for grass-fed Costco uh, ghee. Finley. Look oh. What's up with Finley? Finley, the uh, art grocery hall would be uh, cheese balls. That's right. Twizzlers and flat iron steak. Now look at this, they're also making grass-fed spray. I don't know how I feel about this because I feel a lot of that might get wasted in there if it gets chilled. Very expensive too. I'd rather just melt it myself. No, no, it's just you. We try to get to as many questions look as we this. can, but they come Vanilla in Vanilla bean right. ghee single serving. Let's say you're on the road. You want to take this, put it in your uh, bulletproof coffee. That's an amazing idea. Now, look at this. Bobby said coconut oil is good. I'm going to buy it, right? you're not gonna buy it because this is an aerosol chemical propellant container. You can't use this. You really wanna go and get the non-propellant, which is right next to it. Look at this. This is non-propellant, non-chemical avocado oil spray. And this is actually a really heart healthy oil. Now, look at these fats from an Austin based company. Chris, how much did Epic sell to and who do they sell to? This is bison tallow, duck fat, beef tallow, pork fat. These are, these are all saturated fats, right? Saturated fats are bad for you, right? No, you guys, saturated fats are actually good for you if they're the right saturated fats. It's when you combine saturated fat or fat with sugar, simple carbohydrates, that's when it's bad because that's when you get cholesterol. That's when you get high blood pressure. That's when you get insulin resistant. That's when you get fat and sick, to be honest. So that's why the keto paleo diet is the way to go with these kind of saturated fats. You got news from here? Yeah, my friend JJ Kim in the Pacific Northwest just gave you $10. Oh, Thank nice. Thank you so much for everything you share. Our family diet has been changed radically and feeling so much healthier and safer. Dude. Coming. Good job, Art. JJ is the one that taught me Premier Pro. He's the one who works at Microsoft, right? He, he taught me Premier Pro. Very cool. Yeah. I love that. I remember you, JJ. So, guys, don't believe the hype that saturated fats cause cholesterol. They don't. It's inflammatory food like sugars and starches that do. Here's the funny part, right? 
is back in the uh, 1920s, the government shifted everything away from saturated fats to plant-based oils. Oh, I was gonna tell this story in the video that we sh uh, shot earlier, I forgot. So, prior to 1920 and 1930, very, very few occurrences of heart disease and heart attacks were recorded. But then the government said, wow, there's a lot of money in the plant-based oils, let's recommend that. They told Americans to stop eating saturated fat and to eat plant-based oils like, come over here, look at canola oil. Hey, we should move your cart. Like so safflower like oil. Okay, show those oils, Art. Like peanut oil. Like soybean oil. Like safflower and soy oil. They told everyone to start eating this and they, were, they weren't expelled, they were pressed like this. And what happened? Literally, in the next 10 years, the first diagnosed case of a heart disease happened in the U.S. Uh, this is all facts, by the way. Then after that, heart disease took off like a stock market in the good way, not like a coronavirus stock market, right? Ooh, severance 4 OK hurting, man. It's been a rough time. That's because plant-based oils like canola oil are highly processed and highly refined and highly inflammatory. Your body is really not supposed to eat this kind of garbage. If you eat oil, you should eat unrefined oils like avocado oil, coconut oil, stuff like that. This is really good for you. Get the big one at Costco, obviously, right? But big agriculture put a ton of money in the government and they started propagating these lies to us and that's when things got terrible. And then in the 1950s, I believe, the government came out with their arse backwards food pyramid saying, hey, have a diet high in starches and grains and cereals, moderate meat. The pyramid should be flipped on its head. So you should be eating good pasture-raised pork fat, good grass-fed ghee with pasture-raised pork, pasture-raised chicken, pasture-raised grass-fed beef. That's how you get healthy. Your brain is mostly fat. The uh, myelin sheath that cover your knees, your nerves are mostly fat. You need that kind of stuff. My mom died of multiple sclerosis five years ago. That's because her myelin sheath goes away and she went downhill. She wasn't unfortunately keen to stay on her diet, but your body needs that kind of stuff. So they don't need processed oils. But when you walk around, show that art, all these middle aisles here, right? They never use the good stuff. They use canola oil, soybean oil, safflower oil. If they used more oils like this, avocado oil, if they used more olive oil, if they used more of this extra virgin coconut oil, we'd be a much happier, healthier society. I firmly believe in that. So when doctors two years ago came out and said, why is everyone loving coconut oil? It's the worst saturated fat. It's just as bad as butter. Well, first of all, grass-fed pasteurized butter is good for you. This is such a special saturated fat that's rich in MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, rich in lauric acid, which is so hard to find in food. It's so good for you. This, you want virgin coconut oil. It's so good for your body. Lard, trans fat, shortening, uh, palm oil is bad for you. It's so simple, you guys, but the government, because of money, really screws it up for everyone. So that's my big rant about oils. Careful behind you, Art. So, okay. That's it, you guys. How long have we been on for? 92 minutes and change. 90, oh my God, hour and a half. Time flies when you're hanging out with family. So guys, amazing time. I'm not sure I'm gonna be here on Friday because I'm planning to go to Anaheim for the uh, natural food show. If it gets canceled though, we'll be on Friday. But um, I love doing these hauls with you. Art loves it too. I love creating content. That's really what I feel like I was born to do. Um, what else? Keep supporting the cookbook. Let's keep it at a number one bestseller on Amazon. Just search Flav City on Amazon. Check out the keto cookbook. Check out the uh, ebook grocery uh, guide. Both are number one bestsellers because of you. Um, the videos this week, I think one of them is gonna be maybe the foods with the most glyphosates in the store. Today we filmed the high inflammatory foods at the store, how to avoid them. Low sodium foods, we have another baby food video. The videos this weekend that came out, the Costco video and the uh, disaster haul prep video were two of the most popular videos on day one ever. The views went off the charts, so thank you for that. It was really amazing. So I gotta figure out what we're gonna make for dinner. Go over to the Flav City Instagram stories. You'll see what we make for dinner. If you're not following me on Instagram, two videos every day on there, plus stories. We're having a great time. Uh, that's it. Is it safe to eat saturated fats with complex carbs due to the Randall cycle? If you're going to eat carbs, they have to be <clears throat> complex. And yeah, you'd rather cook your complex carbs with saturated fat than canola oil. 
Saturated fat or avocado oil is fine. Just don't cook it with canola oil and garbage like that. Right? Yes, no. This has burgers. Oh, we have the burger. We only have two of those, babe, though. We have, we have these, oh my God, we have these grass-fed bone marrow burgers at home. Like I said, there's an amazing place in Chicago called Local Foods. They have grass-fed burgers with frozen bone marrow in the mixture. I also got some pasture-raised bacon there. Yeah, that sounds good, but I, we only have two of them, babe, but that sounds great. Make some more. Make some more. I don't have any more bone marrow. We can do regular beef. Regular beef? Or grass-fed beef, of course. Um, yeah, so stores don't have peely nuts yet, but peely nuts are one of the highest fat, lowest carb, heart healthy nuts in the world. Delicious stuff. Uh, pistachio oil, I haven't seen it, but it's good stuff. That's another great nut. Yeah, I gotta get home. Okay, we'll figure out the menu. Follow us on uh, Instagram stories. We'll see what Rose and Desi are up to. Go selfie style to close it out, Art. So everyone, say goodbye. We had a great time hanging out with you. This is fun. So anytime we have a chance to do a live stream in a grocery store, we do it because it's so rare. It's like an eclipse. It only happens once in a while, but Art and I love it. So uh, like, subscribe, share, keep telling your friends, your family members, all that good stuff. Art and I will see you soon. Until then we say unto like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace. Thanks guys. Sweet, sweet time. Yeah. Goodbye, Flat Sarah. Steak and cheese ball <laughs> See y'all. <laughs> peace.